travel days, man. The worst things about going places is going there and going back, man. Flights, a lot of people, a lot of noise, a lot of traffic, man. Just never look forward to traveling, man. That aspect of it, anyways. Right now, it's like 5 a.m. and I'm leaving my hotel. Gotta go hop on the shuttle and head to the airport and get on my flight and go back home. Back to humidity, man. One flight down, last flight I'm about to go to right now. Just grab me some food. I'm headed over to the terminal right now. I'm calling it that they lose my luggage, man. I'm, I'm calling it. Like, I just got this feeling, man. I bet they lose my luggage. Turns out they actually did not lose my bag. I was just being paranoid, being weird. It was weird though, because I didn't pay to get my bag checked on. They were like, we don't have any overhead space and we gotta check your bag. And I don't know, I just got super paranoid. But I got my bag, I'm back home, and uh, I'm about to head home and uh, upload my video. So let's see what I got going on for the rest of the day. Just got dressed, about to head out with Millie and have a date night. Haven't saw her in a couple days, so we gotta we gotta reconnect, man. We gotta We got a date, you know what I mean? We went to go make our reservation for our actual dinner because it's too pop in there and in the meantime we're just grabbing some ice cream. I think I caught a West Coast cold, man. Next day, the date last night was great. I didn't really vlog too much of it just because I wanted to enjoy it and not have the cameras in our faces the whole time. But, uh, yo, I want to briefly tell y'all about this guy that I met downtown when I was on a date last night. And uh, we had the weirdest conversation. Like, it's crazy because I've run into, like, a lot of interesting people. Like, I don't know. It's something about me attracts people that are interesting or weird in a sense. I guess you can call them weird, I don't know. I always, every time I talk to someone, no matter if I think they're weird or not, I take something from the conversation, if that makes sense. Because a lot of people may call someone crazy just because they don't understand them, but I don't really like to call people crazy or think of anyone as being crazy just because they're speaking about something that people don't know and people think they're crazy so me as, a, as an individual I like to take something away from every conversation that I have with everyone but I had met this guy last night I was downtown filming and uh, he walks up on me and he says um, well he's asking me what I was doing like yo are you doing like a documentary for for the city or whatever blah 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 so I'm like nah I'm just vlogging you know what I mean and um he asked me, he said, uh, he said, why, why, why don't we communicate nowadays? And now I had no idea what he was talking about. 
And um, I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then he pointed to the camera. He was like, this is why we don't communicate nowadays. And that was, it was so weird. And uh, he goes on to tell me that uh, he was, he was, he was from Puerto Rico, I believe. And, uh, and he worked at a prison camp for like 30 years or some crazy odd number. And uh, he said he, he people watched for a long time just because he was a prison guard. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? He said he was, he was, he was person watching me. And, uh, you know, uh, he said, the thing that he said that I took away from the conversation, because it was a super long conversation about a bunch of stuff, but he said, if you were given a canvas and told to paint something, you would paint a shadow because you look past the picture. Then he looked me in my eyes and he said, you're a leader. And he said, you're blessed. Don't sit on your hands. And that was, it was, that was so weird to me. I didn't know this dude from a bag of bricks, like. And like I, it's, I always, I always find these weird conversations with people, y'all. And it's kind of crazy. But he said, if you were to paint, if you were to paint a picture on the canvas, you would paint the shadows because you see beyond the picture. And I have no idea what that means. Like that's so crazy. And he said, you're a leader. And, he, and before he left, he said, you're blessed, man. Don't sit on your hands. I don't know what I don't know what that means. Like I don't know. I guess it. I don't know. I, the the way I took it or depicted it was. Like, it, I don't know, it was almost, he was saying, don't, don't take what you have for granted. Do what you need to do. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. If, what do y'all think that means, man? I want to know down in the comments, man. I took, I took away from it. I felt like he was kind of sort of saying, don't, don't BS. Do what you need to do. And I feel like that all the time, which is kind of crazy. Like, I don't know, man. Weird, man. Don't sit on y'all hands, man. Do what y'all need to do. Y'all are blessed. Everyone's blessed, man. He said I was blessed and I was a leader. I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to tell y'all about that weird conversation. But uh, I'm going to close this vlog out right now. If you liked it, make sure to like it, comment, and also subscribe. And I'm going to check you out on my next vlog tomorrow. Peace.